This is the solution to quiz six. <clears throat> Find the equation of the line parallel to that, which passes through that. Okay, so if we take this line, 5x minus 2y equal to 1, then that's negative 2y is negative 5x plus 1. And if we divide by negative 2, that's y is negative 5 over negative 2. x plus 1 over negative 2, which simplify a little bit, is 2.5x minus uh, half. Uh, and therefore, the slope that we're looking for is 2 and a half. Because the slope of the line that we were given is 2 and a half. And we wanted, we want to make a parallel line. So therefore, <clears throat> the slope that we want is m equal to 2.5 and the point that we want is that one. So x1, y1 equal to 2, 3. Therefore the equation is y minus uh, 3 is 2.5 times x minus 2. So that would be y minus 3 is 2.5 uh, x and then minus 5. And so y equals 2.5 x and then add 3 to both sides, so minus 2. So that's the answer to part one, or part A. Part B, we're given the same, except now we want a perpendicular, um, a perpendicular line. So we did some work up there. Y is 2.5x minus half, but it may be slightly more useful to write that as 5 over 2 x minus half and therefore the slope that we want is the negative reciprocal of that which is to say negative 2 fifths because <coughs> perpendicular slope is negative reciprocal so negative reciprocal. And therefore, the point that we want is x1, y1 equal to 2, 3, and the slope that we want is negative two-fifths and therefore the equation is y minus three is negative two-fifths x minus two. <coughs> Simplifying a little bit y minus 3 is negative 2 fifths x and then plus 4 fifths and then add 3 to both sides so y is negative 2 fifths x and then 4 fifths and we want to add 3 well that's 15 fifths plus 4 fifths so that's 19 fifths answer to part one. Question one. Question two. Oh, we've got a story. 
Okay, so the number of kilometers of road in a town grows linearly. At this point in time, that much road. And that point in time, that much road. Okay. So we know two points. Uh, we know. <clears throat> we know that in 2003, which is years are the x coordinate, there were 1314 kilometers. And in 2011, there were 1778 kilometers. <coughs> So the change in uh, x is 8, and the change in y is, let's see, 1778 minus 1314 is 464, and therefore the slope is the ratio of those two, so 464 over 8 is 58. Okay, so as for the equation, we can use this slope in either one of those two points. So I'll use the one with slightly smaller numbers. <coughs> so y minus 1, 3, 1, 4 is 58 multiplied by x minus 2003. So y minus 1, 3, 1, 4 is 58x minus, okay, 58 times 2003 is 1, 1, 6, 1, 7, 4. And then solving for y, 58x. Um, oops, I should be minus. Okay. Uh, one one four eight six zero. Those look like kind of crazy numbers, so we can check and make sure that's right by plugging those in. So I'll give a quick check. Fifty eight times two thousand three. And then minus 114860, I get 1314. And 58 multiplied by 2011 minus that same number, I get 1178. Okay, so that's the right model. So to translate part B into plain language, or math language really, uh, we want to evaluate. Uh, the model in part A at x is 2008, which is to say y is 58 uh, times 2008 minus that number, 114860. <coughs> so that is y is. 1604. So I can see that 2008 is intermediate between these two numbers, and I can see that the output y is also intermediate, so that's good. Okay, <clears throat> and now same thing almost in part C. This is evaluate the model in part A at x is 2018, so y is 58 times 2018 minus that number, 114860, and 2184. And again, 2018 is outside of that interval and it's more than 2011, so it should be the biggest number of all, and it is. 
so that's good. And then question three. Okay, A. Solve by factoring. Okay, so can we think of two numbers? This product is negative 27 and whose sum is negative 6. Sure. How about x minus 9 times x plus 3 equal to 0? So the solutions are 9 and negative 3. Okay, how about part b? Okay, and we want to factor it. Okay, so we want two numbers whose product is 3 times negative 16, so negative 48, and whose sum is negative 22. Okay, how about negative 24 and positive 2? That does it. So we're going to take that 3x squared and we're going to say that's minus 24x and then plus 2x and then plus 2 equal 0. <coughs> and then now that we have four terms we'll make two groups of 2. 3x is the greatest common factor of the first group so 3x multiplied by x minus 8. Oh, this should be should be 16 right there. So I could tell it had to be 16 because I could was looking ahead and could see it wasn't working. So minus 16 minus 16. Now in this in this group the greatest common factor is 2 so 2 and x minus 8. So if I hadn't noticed that uh, I had written a 2 there instead of negative 16. What, what I did notice is that these two weren't going to be the same, which meant I must have made an error. So these are the same. So that's our landmark to let us know that we are on the right trajectory. So then 3x plus 2 multiplied by x minus 8 is 0. So either that is 0 or that is 0. And the solutions are negative 2 thirds or positive 8. Okay, as for this one, there can be no real solution. There's no real solution because there's nothing you can put into the absolute value so that negative one would come out. So there can be no real solution. As for this one, that equation is satisfiable and it splits into two pieces. 2x plus 1 is either negative 6 or 2x plus 1 is positive 6. So 2x is negative 7, or 2x is 5, so x is negative 3 and a half, or x is 2 and a half. Okay, that's the answer.